Okay, we had an uneven floor here, so we created this piece of wood um, to transition from our hardwood floor to the tile. And I've been debating with myself how I wanted to finish that because he didn't use the same kind of wood. We didn't have enough of this to really do it quite the way we'd originally intended. Um, so I decided I kind of like the idea of picking up a hint of the, uh, the terracotta, burnt sienna type colored tiles and all the different blues that I have in the floor and actually up in the ceiling. Let me see if I can show you the ceiling. See if we have it like that up there. So I'm trying to pick this up down here in the floor. So what I'm going to do is the first layer, I'm just going to do a wash, which if you'll remember from our previous uh, videos, is just a lot of water mixed with your acrylic or latex. And what I'm using is a phthalo blue and a burnt sienna for the first layer. And I'm just going to come in here and I want kind of a watercolor stained type effect. And I'm going to do a real light layer for this first one. And I'm using, I think I'm going to do the blue the bottom half and the uh, burnt sienna for the top half. I'm hoping to kind of pick up some of the wood grain in it and just give it a unique look. And we'll grout this when we're done. We have a few of our tiles with a few issues. I did a few things wrong on that, so we're correcting that and then we'll grout them, I hope, tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Very new at the tiling. This stuff I'm not at the tiling. <laughs> That's a job. I'm just going to keep layering it until it's the shape that I want it to be. And I'm just using my favorite brush again. Uh, it's oh, about one inch flat brush. It's just the one I like best. And even though I know a lot of this will get covered by grout here on the bottom, I'm trying to make sure, and by baseboard, I'm trying to go past where I think it'll show.
pop that where I want it. Like I said, I'm trying to make sure it goes down below where that grout's going to hit. I sure don't want any bare wood accidentally showing through. That would ruin the effect. I'm looking for any spots I accidentally missed. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and then I have a leaf pattern I'm wanting to put it on it and uh, I'm going to let it dry and then I'll, I'll show you how I do the uh, layering.